Welcome to Thinking Particle 6 and the Snapshot Operator. In this video, we will show you our latest addition to Thinking Particle 6, the Snapshot Operator. It's a great tool that allows you to merge a thousand particles into one individual particle, which is a very powerful feature and allows you to create amazing special effects. First, let's have a look here at the scene. So we have a pretty complex setup with a lot of sub-dynamic sets. And the first part you see up here is meant to create an object in a procedural way based on particles. So we born several thousand particles and we use our isosurface uh, operator to create a mesh out of these particles. The next step we have here is when we have created our procedural object, we do that until frame 28. So the time interval turns off our first dynamic set after frame 28. So the object grows until frame 28 and then something happens and it continues to exist. So we create an object and at frame 28 we do something special. Let's have a look what we are going to do in frame 28. In frame 28, we are going to use the snapshot operator. With the time interval, we turn the snapshot on at frame 28. And out of the snapshot, we automatically create a soft body. So we are actually turning thousands of particles into one single particle, which is a great feature because then we deal only with one particle. As you can see, we play that back, we create our mesh and at frame 28 something happens, that's our snapshot. So we create one particle with one mesh. And then we turn out of this object, we turn this into a soft body. And we use the kill source particles to get rid of our original objects. So this all goes fluently one into another. And then we do a soft body simulation. So we let the object just fall down by gravity. The new snapshot operator is a really powerful tool. It allows you to create and control complex special effects. You can turn any number of particles into one individual particle and merge the meshes of each individual particle into one as well. This can be used in many powerful ways. Just imagine a stacking animation, for example. Or in such a way we've shown here, where you have a procedurally created object that is made out of thousand particles. Later it's turned into one and you can use it. Thanks for watching this video and check out our other videos as well.